Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Crib, DC Origins, the ghoulish hunchback alien. While growing up, surely we all have heard tales of scary witches that target young children and kidnap them. While these stories were just made up to convince young children to behave in an acceptable manner, such strange creatures actually do exist, at least in the fictional worlds. First introduced in the Green Lantern comics in 2007, Crib was an alien from the planet Vora who worked with the Yellow Lantern Corps to terrorize the Green Lanterns. Crib had very crooked means of instilling fear in the Green Lanterns and kidnapping their children right in front of their eyes was one of their signature MOs. Let us explore her origins and have a look at this ghoulish hunchback alien with a sack full of children. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Exploring the Origins of Crib Crib was one of the members of the Sinister Corps, also known as the Yellow Lantern Corps. They often went head-to-head -head with the Green Lantern Corps, and they were founded by the intergalactic supervillain Sinestro. While Crib plays an essential role in the Yellow Lantern Corps, not much is known about her origins, except that she originated from the planet Vora in Space Sector 3599. Crib had a very specific MO and usually targeted the children of the Green Lantern Corps. She tracked down newly married members of the Green Lantern Corps and then murdered them before taking away their children. Crib carried a huge bone-shaped sack on her back where she carried all the children that she took hostage. Crib's body produced a mind-controlling liquid and she fed this to the children in order to force them into obeying her. She later kept these children on pods on her planet Vora, and her psychosis led her to believe that she was actually saving them from the Green Lantern Corps that she referred to as oppressive Green Lanterns. The Sinister Corps were on a mission to terrorize the Green Lantern Corps by hurting their families, and Crib played a huge role in fulfilling this mission. She mostly went after newborn children and instilled fear in their parents' hearts by first threatening their children and then murdering them as they helplessly watched their children. She also used her bodily fluids to force the Green Lantern Corps to give up their children and at one instance, she actually tried to carve a child from a pregnant Amnipri's womb. While her actions were cruel and twisted, Crib derived a lot of pressure from them. She genuinely believed that she was saving these children and giving them a better future. Liza Drac, who was the keeper of the Book of Parallax, once talked about Crib with the Green Lantern Corps and cautioned them in advance. Amni and Matupri were also present when Liza talked about Crib's MO, along with some other married Green Lantern couples. When Crib decided to kidnap the child, Crib made her way to their home, and Gerald's husband called her in a panic state to warn Gerald about Crib. But by the time Gerald returned home, Crib had already murdered her husband. Moreover, Gerald spotted Crib standing with her newborn baby in hand, and she lost all of her willpower after seeing her baby in danger. Crib managed to kill Gerald without much effort and then consoled the infant in her arms. Crib then promised the child that she would never harm her before placing her along with the other kidnapped children. In one instance, she murdered all of the Green Lanterns of Sector 1607. Then she went after the Sapal family in Sector 1111. She murdered both Iram and Noj Sapal and then took away their son Samoth. The Green Lanterns were very disturbed by Crib's actions and they decided to lead a rescue team to free all of the kidnapped children. Kyle Rayner then headed the Sector 1111, along with some other Green Lanterns, such as Matu Pri and his pregnant wife, Amni. While Amni managed to rescue one of the Green Lantern's kids from Crib, she accidentally revealed her own pregnancy to Crib. The Green Lantern Corps launched an attack on Crib, but the Varanian alien managed to deflect their attacks and even caused a mass explosion in the Sector House of Sector 1111. This explosion caused the Sector House's orbit to decay, causing it to fall through the atmosphere. Kyle Rayner was horrified by Crib's actions, and he then discovered the bodies of the Green Lanterns murdered by Crib. While the Sector House was falling through the atmosphere, Kyle launched an attack on Crib and started physically assaulting her. Crib retaliated by shooting a yellow liquid from her chest, and this liquid went past the Green Lantern's shields. The Green Lanterns then found themselves under Crib's control, who then revealed that this liquid helps her control the minds of her victims. Crib was determined to get her hands on Amni's unborn child, and she ordered the Green Lanterns under her control to fight Amni. While Amni fought her own teammates, she went into labor and Crib then ordered the Green Lanterns to hold Amni down. Crib decided to perform a C-section on Amni to take her child away, but Kyle broke through 
through a mind control and tried to put a stop to Cribs' plans. Kyle also freed the other Green Lanterns from Cribs' control, and they together tried to save Amni's child from Crib, while Kyle and KT21 cornered Crib, Amni's husband Matu, and another lantern named Saranik Natu helped Amni get through the birthing process. In the midst of the chaos, Mary Ryan from the Star Sapphire Corps made an appearance. These Corps' powers rings got their powers from love, and Mary Ryan had been summoned at the scene as a result of Amni and Matu's strong love bond. Mary Ryan helped Kyle and KT21 while they fought Crib, and together succeeded in finally subduing her. Kyle decided that Crib should be taken to the planet Oa, where they will place her in a science cell that she cannot escape from. These science cells were intergalactic prisons, and not even the most powerful criminals could escape them. However, KT21 was not satisfied with this plan, and was worried that Crib might escape one day and come after her children. She tried to kill Crib on her own, but the alien used the bone sack on her back to retaliate and kill KT21 instead. Before Crib could cause any further damage, Kyle and Mary Ryan trapped her in a green energy crib. Mary Ryan then used her star sapphire power ring to trap Crib in a violent crystal case, and the Green Lanterns decided that it was best to let Mary Ryan take care of Crib. Mary Ryan took Crib to the planet of Zamoron, where the founders of the Star Sapphire Club, Zamorons, would be in charge of rehabilitating her. During the Blackest Night Art, Crib was still encased in the violent crystal that Mary Ryan had trapped her in. She was then rescued by Tekik, who was an active soldier to the Yellow Lantern Corps. Crib immediately traveled to her home planet Bora to check up on all of her kidnapped children but she discovered that they had all turned into Black Lantern Corps after starving in her absence. Crib then ran into the trouble with the Red Lantern, Guy Gardner, and eventually came to Earth to help the Yellow Lantern Corps fight against Necron, leader of the Black Lantern Corps. What makes Crib so powerful? As a member of the Varanian race, Crib had many powers and abilities that helped her in her missions to terrorize the Green Lantern Corps. She had a rather scary physiology with a sack-like pouch made of bones on her back and long, disproportionate limbs. Crib's most powerful weapon was her mind-controlling liquids that her body produced on its own. These liquids targeted the DNA of her victims and then bonded them together with Crib's DNA. Crib then had the power to control her victims' minds and get them to perform tasks for her. Crib secreted these liquids from her chest and she produced these liquids in the form of breast milk. Crib also fed this liquid to the kidnapped children, making them obedient and easier for Crib to handle. As a Varanian, Crib had enhanced stamina, and she could endure a lot of painful and challenging situations without much trouble. Crib was also a master at instilling fear in the minds of her victims, which was considered her M.O. Her intimidating appearance paired with her ability to control the minds of her victims made her a very fierce opponent. As a member of the Yellow Lantern Corps, Crib had a yellow power battery that could be used to charge her Sinestro Ring. The Sinestro Ring was the preferred weapon of the Yellow Lantern Corps, and Crib also possessed one of these. The ring, also known as the Cordian Power Ring, gave Crib many additional abilities that helped her destroy the Green Lantern Corps. Crib could move objects at her will with the help of this ring and even communicate with her other Sinestro Lanterns by using it. The ring also projects energy beams, and Crib could blast energy as well as fire blasts at her opponents with its help. She could also conjure up a force field and even construct or create any object that she desired out of pure energy emitted from the ring. Crib's ring was connected to the main battery on cord, and this battery obtained information from the parallax. It served as a computer that provided Crib with information that she needed to locate the Green Lanterns or fight them. The ring shared crucial information, either loudly or silently, by playing it directly in Crib's mind. It had an extensive database of crucial information regarding its opponents and even translated it into various languages, which helped Crib work together with the other Yellow Lantern Corps. The ring also chose its bearer by deciding if the candidate is capable of instilling greater fear into their opponents, and Crib particularly excited in this department. The ring also gave Crib the ability to create illusions or mirages to fool the Green Lanterns and play tricks on their minds. She could also phase through walls or any solid substances as long as she wore the ring. Crib's ring also allowed her to probe through the minds of any Green Lanterns or any other being. Moreover, she could also read their thoughts and even go to their past memories. Crib's ring helped her control the general temperature of her surroundings, as well as specific places in the universe. She could increase or decrease the temperature of stars or even produce bubbles made of intense heat or cold in order to use them as a weapon. Crib's ring also gave her X-ray vision, and she could see through various objects in her surroundings. However, this ability did not work on all sorts of objects 
objects and some materials were resistant to the power of the ring. While Crib's ring gave her many additional abilities, this power ring was not a foolproof weapon and often needed to be recharged with the help of the power battery. In the absence of a power battery, other sources of energy such as Cosmic Cube also worked but they were not effective after a certain period of time. Though Crib and the Sinister Core heavily relied on the power rings during any attacks, these rings were of no help without any battery, and constant care had to be taken in order to keep the rings well charged. Conclusion Crib was one of the most terrifying members of the Sinister Core, and her ways of instilling fear among the Green Lanterns really stood out among the other Core. She was a nightmare to all the merry Green Lanterns, who lived in a constant state of fear over their child's security. Though Crib's actions were twisted, she seemed to believe that she was actually doing good and saw herself as a savior to these kids. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.